So you previously figured out the adjectives that align with your higher self. You got rid of the clutter in your closet and you honed in on the pieces in your closet that really do align with your higher self. Now it's time to keep chiseling away at this vision, really make it solid. And we need to get crystal clear on this vision before we do any shopping. So we are going to make a Pinterest board, baby. This is my favorite thing to do, honestly, I love it. But first, again, set the stage, set the vibes. When I'm gonna be on Pinterest, I know I'm gonna be on there for hours. You're probably gonna be on there for hours. So I light some candles, I make a hot tea, I put on some like jazzy music, that's my preference because I like something that's not too attention grabbing. And I get in my pajamas, I get very comfy in my bed, and I just like romanticize the whole event of it. Uh, Cause also that's something my higher self version would do. She has time on her hands. She prioritizes self-care. She lives very slowly. She knows how to relax. She loves doing the things. So when you get on Pinterest, if your homepage is not immediately showing you options of things that resonate with you, then you have to figure out some keywords to get closer to the image of what it is that you want. So what I love about Pinterest is that it has a very good algorithm, like what it suggests to you based off previous clicks are very accurate in my experience. I don't feel like I have to click for very long to guide it into what I'm looking for, but you do have to guide it. Like you have to tell it by what you're clicking on, what you're looking for. So try and figure out some keywords that align with it. Even if it's just leather bag, that is very vague and you should try and think of things that are a little more specific, but you work with what you got. You want to go down the rabbit hole. So from the options that it gives you, what I'll do is open in separate tabs the closest things that I can see align with that and I just keep keep narrowing it down keep going down this rabbit hole of like okay this is more like it this is more like it this is more like it and eventually you'll start to see things that really click there are going to be a lot of things that click with you if you're not super sure on the style that you want to go for and pinterest has literally everything pinterest is going to throw all of it out at you and it's okay to like a variety of different styles your job right now is just to have fun with it and and just dump don't think about it being cohesive just dump it all into a mood board after you're done dumping and you feel like you have enough options here you want to go through that mood board and you want to consolidate all the styles into separate folders within that mood board. This is going to help you add more clarity. Now after you've made separate folders for all the different styles that you've dumped into your mood board, you want to go into each folder and visualize yourself wearing the things that you see, these people wearing, the inspo that you see, and really visualize yourself in it. How am I moving in this? How does this actually fit on my body? How do these colors match with my skin, my hair, my eyes, if that matters to you? You're gonna ask how it wraps your body. Does it make you feel more confident? Does it lift you up, empower you? What I do, no lie, I I have to like block out my eyes. I will go under the covers in like pitch black darkness because I can see my head visions better and I literally like as clear as day try to see myself wearing these pieces or outfits whatever it is that's in there after you do that pick a style to start off with you don't want to have like 20 different styles going on at once I think over time you can definitely build up your wardrobe to having a variety but starting out you want to lay a very clear foundation so starting with something specific is going to help you not only shop later on for these pieces but also be able to formulate outfits quicker to really create the vision. I trust that you can use your imagination well enough 
to visualize what would work for you so that you hit the nail on the head the first time but i know that it's possible that you won't you might think that it works out until you try it and then you realize actually it doesn't work out but at least you have that style consolidated and now you can completely cross it off the list you're like actually that doesn't work for me this one actually feels more like it i have gone through the phase of really liking a specific style in like 2020 2021 there was this one girl her name was lynn mick on instagram but i really liked her style it's very colorful she layers a lot when i tried it though it just did not hit the same she pulls it off in a different way because her energy is different her physical body is different everything so of course it's i'm not gonna give it off the same way i could give it off in my own way but it just didn't hit the same so i ended up just scrapping that style and being like actually i guess that doesn't work for me either but i did go through the process of trying it i think had i really considered how it would fit on my body before i really indulged in that style then maybe i would have been i would have realized that it really wasn't for me I don't regret any of the styles that I went through because I was expressing myself at the time. There's no shame in changing your wardrobe, changing your style. You don't want to be doing it every three months. But if you're doing it every few years, that's totally okay. Because every few years, guess what? You're a different freaking person. Like you're not going to stay the same. You, you're constantly changing. Your interests are changing. What you do on a day-to-day -day is changing why would your wardrobe not resonate that i resonate deeply with my word my wardrobe because it is a form of expression it is an outside projection of who i am internally and i do think it was essential also for me to try all these different styles in the past for me to get to where i am right now for me to realize that actually no this aligns with me or this is closest to my highest self it was like oh no that's my highest self oh no that's my highest self no that's my highest self i have manifested my higher self multiple times and every time it's like yeah did it okay what's next i'm on to bigger i'm on to better i'm on to greater and I'm always gonna have that mentality. For me, the last time I went through like a big style wardrobe shift was end of 2021. So it has been two years since I like regenerated. And for some people it might be even faster, like, you know, maybe a year. But even that feels like too close because then that kind of seems like maybe you were just following a trend. If you feel like you want to change your wardrobe after trying something for three months you were definitely following something that was not true to yourself so really assess like the time frame between like when you've created a wardrobe to when you feel like it's time to change it for yourself we want longevity we want something that that really resonates with us because when it does it lasts for way longer and i know a lot of us right now we want to create something that is very timeless and i can speak from my experience that even throughout trying all these different styles over the past few years there's always a common denominator between them and that common denominator was knowing my silhouette preferences my color preferences and texture preferences that was really the common denominator that allows for the pieces that i've bought in the past even though they don't align perfectly with how i want to dress right now they still work in my closet they can be intertwined with what i like now or they can just like easily be replaced hopefully now you've decided so click on that folder and you can continue to elaborate on that one style go to the bottom see if it shows like similar pins that align with that style even more keep elaborating on it and then after you have a more solid mood board then you want to look at them very closely each specific outfit or item and start creating a list of specific things that align with that style that you are going to prioritize 
and invest in first, you're basically creating a staples list. So some things that I had on my list was sling back heels, chic sunglasses, a low square neckline top, maxi skirts, just to give you an idea. And after you've made your list, congratulations, you have done like 80% of the work at this point because you've gone through your closet you formulated the vision now it's just time to execute it and you know exactly what you're gonna buy you know exactly what you're gonna invest in so the next steps is just following through it's the home stretch and it is gonna be a little bit hard shopping but i'll walk you through that as well